Hello, my name is Dr. Rick Hoffman and I teach music theory at Belmont University. This video is a short introduction to spelling triads. A triad is a chord with three different pitches, and specifically with pitches that can be arranged in ascending thirds. So here are five examples. These are all triads. C E G is a triad, F A flat C is a triad, B flat D F is a triad, D F A is a triad, E G sharp B is a triad. All have three different pitches and all can be arranged in ascending thirds. Here's a triad with the pitches F, A, C. F is the root, A is the third, and C is the fifth. The pitches in this triad can be arranged in many different ways, but they're all F major triads. There are four different types of triads. We usually call these the four triad qualities major, minor, diminished, and augmented. Major, minor, and diminished chords are very common. Augmented chords are quite rare, but we'll consider them here along with the others. Each triad has a distinctive sound and a distinctive pattern of intervals. The major triad has a major third between the root and the third, a minor third between the third and the fifth, and this makes a perfect fifth between the root and the fifth. The minor triad reverses the pattern with the minor third on the bottom, the major third on top, and the outer interval is still a perfect fifth. Diminished triads have two minor thirds with a diminished fifth between the root and the fifth. And an augmented triad is made up of two major thirds with an augmented fifth between the root and fifth. We can put all this information together and think less about the actual intervals and more about the relationship among the triad types. The difference between a major and minor triad is a third. It's a half step higher in major than in minor. The difference between major and augmented is the fifth. It's a half step higher in the augmented triad than in the major triad. The difference between minor and diminished is also the fifth, but it's a half step lower in diminished. So this little chart helps explain all these differences. This is important to remember. This is one thing you should understand well, and it's the first thing we have to know to spell triads. Here's the second part. If we build a triad on each note of a C major scale, we discover these seven chords. C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, and B diminished. We'll call these the white note spellings because they use only the white keys on the piano. They are chords in the key of C, but that's not going to be important for us right now. Just think about them as, as white note spellings, just using white keys. Any of the triads will begin with one of these seven spellings. Any F chord, F major, F minor, F diminished, whatever, will all have the letter names FAC. Any D chord, D major, D minor, D flat major, D sharp minor, any D chord, will have the letter names DFA. If we know the quality of the white note spellings, these seven chords here, and we know the relationship between the four triad qualities, we can spell any triad. Let me show you what I mean. How would we spell C sharp major? Well, C E G is major. We know that from the white note spelling. And so all we have to do is raise all three pitches, and we get C-sharp major, because the relationship is exactly the same. How would we spell E-flat minor? Well, E-G-B is already minor, and so if we lower all three, E-flat, G-flat, B-flat, that has to also be minor, and so that's how we spell E-flat minor. How about F minor? Now this one's a little different. F-A-C is major, but what's the difference between major and minor? The third. So if we lower the third, 
F A flat C, we know that's F minor. How about A major? A C E, the white note spelling for A is minor. And so we know we have to raise the third. We have to make the third relatively high. We have to make it higher than the root in the fifth. So A C sharp, E is major. Here's one more. How about D diminished? If we start with D minor, D F A, to get from minor to diminished, we have to lower the fifth, and so D F A flat. So if we know the white note spellings and we know the relationship between the triad types, we can use those two pieces of information to quickly and efficiently spell any chord. Let's try a few more. How would we go from C major to C sharp major and then to C sharp minor? C E G is major, so C sharp, E sharp, G sharp is major. And how do we go from major to minor? Lower the third, C sharp, E, G sharp. Let's look at three other chords with a G spelling. G, B, D is G major. To make G sharp major, we'll raise all three. To make G sharp minor, we lower the third. Now to make G-sharp diminished, we lower the fifth. And how about three based on E? E, G, B is minor, so E flat, G flat, B flat has to be minor. To go from minor to major, we'll raise the third, E flat, G, B flat. And to go from major to augmented, we'll raise the fifth. So E flat, G, B. Triads built on B can be a little bit tricky. The white note spelling of BDF is diminished, and so it may take us an extra step or two to build all the B chords. BDF is diminished. From diminished to minor, we raise the fifth. B, D, F sharp. From minor to major, raise the third. So B, D sharp, F sharp. And how about B sharp diminished? Well, if B, D, F is diminished, B sharp, D sharp, F sharp has to be diminished. Let's try three more. B, D, F is diminished. How about B flat diminished? Lower all three. How do we go from diminished to minor? We'll raise the fifth, B flat, D flat, F. And how about B flat major? Raise the third, B flat, D, F. I advise students to memorize a couple of the B chords besides just the B diminished. So if you know B major, B, D sharp, F sharp, and you know B flat major, B flat, D, F, you can go pretty quickly to any of the other spellings. So let's summarize what we know. If we learn the white note spellings, the seven triads but built on white notes, and if we learn the relationships between the four qualities, how to go from major to augmented, major to minor, minor to diminished, we can put all this together and we can spell any triad quickly and efficiently. Notice that we haven't talked about key, or we haven't spelled a lot of intervals. Once we know the white note spelling, once we know the relationships, we can spell any triad without reference to key, without counting intervals. So that's my approach. I'm Dr. Rick Hoffman from Belmont University. Good luck with your studies and thank you for watching.